Yeah. Hello, yeah, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Epsi Ashaolu. I'm a content writer, an affiliate marketer, and a blogger. And on this channel, I teach you how to make money writing content online. But today we are not dealing with content. Today I want to teach you how to create an out of office auto reply in Gmail. If you are ready to learn, then let's get to it. Out of office reply messages are required if you work in an office and you are taking a vacation or going on a sick leave or uh, you will not be around in the office for one purpose or the other. You may need to drop a message down so that whenever anyone contacts you on Gmail, uh, the auto reply will send a reply to them, letting them know that you will not be around in the office for the uh, specified duration of time. Uh, creating this in Gmail is not as difficult as you think, and that is what you'll be learning in this video. If you are ready, then let's get to my computer. Yeah, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create an uh, out-of-office auto-reply uh, so that when you are not around in the office, you can always uh, send an automated message to people that uh, send email to your inbox so that they will know that you are not around and you're going to act, uh, attend to their issue whenever you are back uh, to the office. So here I'll be showing you how to set it up. Uh, but before we go into that, I will show you how to write an out of uh, office um, um, messages. When writing your out of office email message, there are three things you need to include in the email. The first is a, a date that you are going on, uh, that you won't be around in the office and when you are likely to return back to the office. The second is um, the number, the phone number, uh, your phone number, the phone number to contact in case of emergency in the office. If somebody needs to contact you immediately for a very important reason, they will have a phone number with which to call you. Uh, the third one is uh, you can delegate somebody to act on your behalf when you're not around in the office. You have to provide the name, the email address, and the um, designation of the person that you want to uh, uh, that you want to, to that you want to act on your behalf. You have to state all these three important information. Now let me show you examples of. Uh, out of office uh, messages that I have. Now, this is an example of an out of office message. You start by with the greeting, hi. Then you continue with the message. Thank you for your email. I am out of the office at this time and I'm not checking my emails. I will not be back until January 10th. If this is an urgent matter, please call me on my cell phone or contact Rose Kaloum at the email address and the phone number. Otherwise, I will respond to your email as soon as possible after my return. Best regards, Epsi. Here you can add your phone number. You can put any phone number that you want here. And then the contact of the person that can act on your behalf when you are not in the office. So that is the first, first example on how to write um, out of office uh, auto reply message. Now the second one is this. It starts with a greeting, hi. Then you say, thanks for your email. I'll be out of the office from February 27 to 1st of March. That is the duration. If you need assistance while I'm away, Please contact John at Soso 10 and also number for marketing questions or this email and phone number for accounting questions. You can specify uh, the kind of support they will receive when they contact the 
people that can act on your behalf. So when you are done with that, then you close it. Best regards, FC, and we put your name there. So this is an uh, that those are the two examples of an out of office email. Now that we have written it, let's copy it so that we'll go and set it up on Gmail. So this is our Gmail address. You sign him into your Gmail account to be able to set it up. So after you have done that, then you click on settings. Here is the settings uh, features. So you click on see all settings. So here we have, then we scroll down. Yes, here we are. It's done down almost the last uh, feature on the page. So it is called Vacation Responder. It says, sends an automated reply to incoming messages. If a contact sends you several messages, this automated reply will be sent at most once every four days. So this helps you to reply people that are sending email messages to your email inbox while you are not in the office. So to switch, on, to switch it on, you click on the Vacation Responder. Then you state the date you will not be around. Let's say from 13th of January. Then the last date uh, can be a week. OK, let's put it at January 20, 20th, 2023. Then the subject can be I am out of office. Then we now paste the message we are written in Microsoft Word. Uh, this is not looking too good. So let's adjust the size of the message. We'll alight it like this. And we go to this place and make it large. It is OK. If you want to change the font we can also do that and yes for me sense this also looks good so here you can bold the name which is okay you can uh, make uh, the email address and the phone number you can put them in its link so that they'll be a bit different uh, from the message here also you can put the email and the phone number. So when you are done uh, adjusting or formatting your test, then uh, you can, uh, there is an option here that says only send a response to people in my contact. Uh, if the people that are contacting you are those that you know already, that are already part of your contacts on Gmail, you can specify it to them, maybe to close relatives or close uh, um, colleagues in the office, you can specify that. Otherwise, you can also click on this one so that uh, it will also send to those addresses that are not in your Gmail account. So you can click on this. And then when you are done, you click on Save Changes. And that is all about setting up an autoresponder, an auto-reply message when you are not around in the office for one purpose or the other. You don't need to write um, a bogus uh, message for the auto reply, just a paragraph or two will do. And uh, you may not also state the reason for your absence. Or, and if you want to, you can simply state you are on leave, on vacation leave, and, uh, or maybe on sick leave and all that, but it is not necessary. So that is how to set up an auto reply message in Gmail. If you have any question, please uh, put it in the comment section below. I'm going to attend to it. And if you need me to do uh, more videos on how to use Gmail, 
for both business purposes and personal purposes, let me know in the comment section also. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.